Hi, this is Matt from bpl24hour.com. Um, I'm going to do some VCDAO tutorials. This one is going to cover VCBox and how to install and get you started with your first dialer. Um, the, this is part of our efforts with the Typhoon High End that hit the Philippines. So I'm putting these together. If you um, feel that you can help by donating a little bit of money for if you found the videos of value, um, please let me know. Um, and I'll make sure the money is spent well on aid and helping people in the community. Um, this is the main reason these are being put together because they know uh, this does rather expensive to have so-called IT consultants install it for you. Um, so I'm hoping that some people realize the value in what we're doing here. Um, so here's our first one. The first thing I would say is you need to install VisiBox. VisiBox you can get from VisiBox.com. Um, if you go to VisiBox server page, this page will open up. Um, what you want is the correct version, which is either the 32 or 64 bit. And you can either have preloaded or standard. The preloaded comes with the phones and users already pre built. There'll be like users 8001, phones at 8001, that sort of thing. Um, but personally, I prefer to install those manually myself. Um, mainly because if you get a brute force attack on your server, it's going to be looking for the phones that it recognizes and knows lots of people are using them. Um, so that's where to get it from. There's also the installation manual if you're interested. Um, the video is going to cover most of what it does on there anyway. Um, the reason I like doing it on videos, it seems to make more sense to a lot of people than it does with reading a book. Um, unless it's structured in a way that's only covering one version. What, what I find with the installation manual though, we have a quick look. It's got several versions of the installation, uh, the express, the cluster. There's too much information here for most people in the beginning. Uh, once you understand VistaBox, I would go back to this and look at it, getting a bit more advanced on what, uh, on how it works and what you can do with it. Um, we're going to go for a small server, which is like for maybe 10 to 16 users. Um, the main reason I'm doing that is that here in the Philippines and many other locations, you struggle to get uh, an upload limit of more than a megabyte. Um, now, 10 users, um, you can get away with just about on a, with a normal codec. With a G729, you can squeeze up to about 16 users, but not advisable, as it does uh, put a bit of a strain on your internet connection. Okay, um, thanks for watching. I hope you find these tutorials useful and I'll get on with the installation. Okay, thanks for watching.